in the past couple of weeks I've spent quite a bit of time on the south coast and today I'm not far from it again. I'm in Eastleigh, I'm at GW Martin and once again the story is about investment, this time in Mazak's Machine Tools. Jason, as sales director at Mazak here in the UK, uh, this is a great example of, of a real success story, isn't it, of you supplying product into a, uh, a subcontract manufacturer? Yeah, it's a, it's a great success, uh, like many other successes out there. I mean, GW Martin, a privately owned, owned company since 1958. Um, they made some significant investment with Mazak over 15 years ago with a couple of multiplexes. Uh, and and they're still going strong now, it's I believe. Still going strong, yeah. And then they came back to the party and, and invited us to, to quote uh, for some more kit over two years ago. Uh, and we've had great success, uh, a joint collaboration between uh, YMUK sales, uh, applications, support, development and implementation as well. Richard, there are some companies that during the pandemic would have shut the curtains and sort of waited for it all to to finish and there are ones that kind of invest their way out of uh, a bad situation. You're certainly the latter, aren't you, here at GW Martin? Yes, we are. Yes, we've invested quite heavily, probably over about two and a half million for the last 18 months. Um, the machine behind you is one of two uh, machines from Mazak, the multiplex, that have been installed here and part of that over two million pound investment. Um, with, with your heritage and history in machine tools, you know the right machine tool for the job, one would assume. Why was this it? Well, these are very rigid machines. I think that's the first thing that, that comes to mind when you look at these machines. We've had the two multiplex machines here for about 15 years. As that multiplex have been fantastic machines, never missed a beat. Uh, they hold a tolerance on tough steel very, very well, all day long. So the thermal stability of them is extremely good. And we need that for this particular part. What is the machine itself when you look in, in, in the internal workings? Can you walk us through the, the makeup of it? Yeah, well, you've got uh, two turrets, two spindles. Uh, they're opposed to each other as opposed to opposite. So they, they are sitting opposed to each other. There's a partition that comes through the center of the machine. So you, have, you can have effectively two machines working either side. Um, partition, it comes back and then you can pick up from one spindle to the other. Uh, they've both got 12 driven tools. Um, they work there, obviously, very, for us, they're very good billet machines. I mean, you can put bar feeders in, but we don't. We use them as billet machines. So in the billet, in the billet loading market of um, an ear up to about 250 mil diameter, they're very good machines. So, Jason, why do you think you won the business here uh, to such a magnitude of, of investment? I think mainly because of the support that we've demonstrated. Um, there's over 360 machines in our portfolio, Paul, so we have to look at the application quite seriously, understand the customer's needs, um, understand what the return on investment is, the cycle time, um, and how we can implement that. Um, applications were very heavily involved with this. Um, this, is a, this is a clear demonstration as well of automation. Uh, a business changing as a result of automation, isn't it? Is this, is this a big thing for Mazak? It, it is a big thing, and uh, you know, and since the pandemic, which we, which we all still talk about, automation is, is ongoing. But this was pre-pandemic, and um, you know, skill levels are getting less and less out there. Um, but with GW and Martin, they put the right applications team together with our applications team, uh, developed the process in house at YMUK on a on a slave machine in our technology centre, pre-delivery uh, of the first machine. So the success was proven before the investment arrived and then that was followed up with the same team to demonstrate uh, an unmanned stable process. And then Richard, to complement the multiplex, you went and bought a Hyper Quadrex. What's the difference? Well, this, we use this as a bar feed machine. Uh, so we've gone from a billet machine here with a gantry to a full, full loaded three metre bar feed machine. Is the ambition the same to uh, run lights out, to to increase volumes, to reduce cycle times. Is that what this machine does for you? Yes, indeed, yeah. Well, cycle times are critical. We make a lot of these parts within the hour. So we can start squeezing a few seconds out and optimize the program. Obviously, we can make a lot more parts in the hour. It's very rigid. This is a high tensile steel machine in here. We've got 70, uh, 70 bar high pressure coolant on this. So we're sticking a 30 mil U drill up it very quickly, five, five times diameter in length. 
and you've got two spindles and two turrets. Yeah. Um, is the machine capable of machining the same on the back as it is on the front? You know, do, do you have a, do you have to do the heavier machining operations on the front, or can can it can it accommodate your demands wherever you're machining the part? Yeah, no, wherever. I mean, you've got both capabilities on both sides of the spindle. Um, it's quite um, it's quite easy to balance out what you're doing on there as well. If, if you can't, if you've got a component with a lot of work at one end and not so much at the other end, you can use both both turrets on one spindle to counteract that. So there's, there's quite a lot of flexibility in the design of this machine. So you can use both turrets on the back spindle or on the front, you can balance machine basically. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Which will reduce your cycle times further. So a few words in Richard on, on Mazak in, you know, over the period of the last two years supporting you. Been impressed? Very impressed, yeah, very impressed. I think the way we've, worked, we've collaborated with them has worked really well. Uh, their people are very technically very, very good indeed. We've learned a lot from them and I, th I think they probably learned a little bit from us too.